a good source of uh, C++ code uh, can be found at Falupta. It's a site hosted by Fabrice Rua. Uh, today I'm going to have a look at um, a GARCH model, an estimation of GARCH models and parameterizing GARCH. So Uh, if we come down to GARCH parameter estimation using S&P 500 and we open that up, it'll come down as a zip file. So let's take a look. And on that zip file, there is a C++ file, which would be just your basic C++ code and a text file with uh, data for S&P 500. So let's just try to set this up in Xcode. So first of all, if I double click, and it'll open the Xcode um, interface, and that takes a second. Okay, and then I just copy that code. So this is a complete C++ program for running a GARCH estimation. And so I copy and then I go to Xcode File New Project So cancel File, New, Project, and uh, we need to give this a name, so we'll call it Garch C++, actually just Garch, and we'll say Volupta, Volupta, next. And we'll put into the desktop. Okay, so we'll say create. And then we look for our main. Remove the existing code. And paste. And a few small issues emerge. So. Uh, the include stdafx.h, so let's take those two out, and using namespace system, let's remove that. And there's still some issues, but they're minor issues. Um, they're just small issues, generally speaking. Okay, let's just run. And what we'll find is, do we get a successful build? We do. The build is su successful, but the program is still running. And uh, essentially what's happening is, it's looking for raw data, the, the data input. And so we can somehow incorporate that into the program. In other words, the raw data S&P 500 data, we need to, that text file that came in the zip, we need to be able to um, incorporate that into the program. So let's uh, get that data. So let's get that data and we'll go to the finder. And okay, we'll look for Brian Byrne and downloads and uh, the GART file which I think was this one. And we'll just copy, we can eyeball the data. It's just S&P 500 data. And okay, let's just copy that file. So copy. And now let's incorporate this into C++, into the X code. Uh, so it's um, Xcode 
preferences. Okay, derive data. And we're looking for Garch. Now we have a few Garch programs. So it's Garch for Lopta. And build. Products. Debug. And just paste that item there. Okay, and let's close that down. Okay, and let's run it again and see if we get results. Build succeeded. And yes, we get some results. So let's have a look at these results. And the results Omega 7.2, Alpha 0 0.7456, and Beta 0 0.92. Okay. Okay, so let's just recap in the steps. To set up, uh, to run this code, you go to File, New, Project. You would go to Command Line Tools, Application, Next. And you would select the language, so the, 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 the it's C++ dedicated page. We're looking for C++. And we just give the name the file and go through those series of steps. Once we have the code lo loaded in and made the various changes, because there was a sea of red here initially, which normally indicates it's not working or wouldn't work properly. Once we amend the code slightly, taking out the include files, uh, libraries, etc., and the using namespace system, we then uh, run the program. We stop it because it doesn't find the text file. To incorporate the text file, you go to Xcode, Preferences, and you then look for Derived Data, and then Derived Data, and then we look for the program name. So we said this program was called Garch for Lupta. You look for Build, Products, debug and then you paste in here the SMP, the text file that contains the data. Remember uh, if we go down here, if we scroll down towards the end there is an imprice. So we use if stream which is basically a way of incorporating in files, external files that um, you want to read in the program, read into the program and we wanted to read this five S and P five hundred uh, text file. Now that wasn't initially there; it had to be incorporated in. So that's why we go through that series of steps. Okay, so that this is our Garch estimation, and next we'll set it up in Excel and see can we uh, get the similar results.